Hello, I'm G.I. Navarro with your Fox 10 News Now update. New this morning, a lawsuit accuses a former head volleyball coach at South Alabama of sexually harassing and physically and emotionally abusing players during her time there. Now the suit is being brought by two former players, Rachel DeMarcus and Alexis Silver, against their former coach Alexis Meeks Rydell, as well as the school's athletic director and two former assistant coaches. The suit claims the former coach would engage in, quote, inappropriate touching, coercing players to play while injured and psychological and emotional manipulation and intimidation, end quote. The former players also claim the athletic director and assistant coaches were aware of the coach's behavior but did nothing. Now, Fox 10 News reached out to the university for a statement, which reads in part, quote, the university has been made aware that a lawsuit was recently filed that has not yet been served and does not comment on pending litigation, end quote. Meeks Rydell resigned as head coach this past February after being at the school for three years. When we try and do that, win at all costs and turn a blind eye to an abusive program, that is not right. And that needs to stop, whether it is what we saw with USA Gymnastics or what we've seen all along the way. It happens in programs. Rydell is an assistant coach at Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Fox News confirmed she's now on administrative leave there pending a university review. A would-be burglar arrested after Mobile police say a woman slashed him as he tried to get into a midtown house. This is Isaac Watts. According to investigators, yesterday afternoon, Watts was climbing into the house through a window when the woman spotted him, then stabbed him with a kitchen knife. Watts is charged with attempted burglary. A New Orleans man also arrested facing charges for attempted carjacking near Mobile Infirmary Thursday afternoon. Jamal Polk opened the door of the intended victim, trying to force them out, according to investigators. Infirmary security responded and held Polk until MPD got on the scene. Team Sheriff is in Louisiana helping out local law enforcement and first responders slammed by Hurricane Ida. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office traditionally has helped after storms along the Gulf Coast. Last year, deputies spent three weeks in Louisiana after Hurricane Laura. Six volunteers from the Sheriff's Office arrived Friday in Ponchatoula, that's northwest of New Orleans. The mission is to keep the local police and first responders going. The Mobile County guys brought a trailer load of food and they've been cooking nonstop. Deputy Josh Pounds is one of them. He says he expects to be there until Thursday and then Sheriff Sam Cochran will send a replacement team. Pound says there's widespread devastation. He says he and the others are putting in 15 hour days trying to keep a steady flow of food and water to keep the local officers and rescue workers going. So what we're doing is, is we're cooking three meals a day. We cook breakfast, lunch and supper. We start feeding uh, at around 6 a.m. We're feeding all the local first responders along with state and federal first responders here. Deputy Pound says the assistance could be needed for some time. It could be another month before power is restored to the area. All right, let's check out your Saturday weather future cast starting it here around noontime should be pretty quiet. But now as we get around 3, 4, 5 o'clock, we will see a couple of showers and storms bubbling up here on the future cast. So we'll call them spotty out there today. About a 30% chance of rain for you. That means a lot of us will miss out in the rain. We've got a 30% chance, but there will be some around. So just something to keep in mind as you make your Saturday plans. You know, you're grilling here as you're watching the games or something like that. You may have to uh, go in for, in for a little bit at the uh, thunderstorm comes in. Here's what it looks like by the afternoon. We're looking at highs right around the lower 90s. Mobile should hit about 90 degrees. Calvert 91, Loxley 89, 86 in Lillian this afternoon, 89 in Milton and Crestview, while 90 in Century and 87 in Pensacola. The beach forecast looks great, not only for your Saturday, but for your Sunday and your Monday as well. This will ride right on through the holiday weekend. Low rip current risk, 
low rain chances, really good weather. Just make sure everybody wears plenty of sunscreen, the high on the UV index. Out in the tropics, a couple things we're keeping an eye on. First off, Larry, a major hurricane out in the Atlantic, but no worries with Larry because it's going to stay way out in the Atlantic, so we don't really kind of pay much attention to that storm. We are going to be closely watching this area. It's right here over Cozumel or the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and you can see I have got the arrows going in all sorts of ways, and that's because it's just too early. I mean, this thing hasn't got any real uh, circulation going yet, so the models don't know what to do with it at this point. It's just a possibility that if it gets here into the Gulf, that it could start to see some development around the middle of the upcoming week. It's something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on, but right now, we don't know exactly where it's going to go. So if you see somebody saying they do, they don't at this point. It's going to take some time to see how it develops. We'll just keep an eye on it. Over the next three days, of course, this is right on through your holiday weekend. Looks great. Quiet weather, a couple pop-up storms here and there. Highs right around 9 degrees.